this is Matt Free in Two Boxing. Delighted to be joined by world champion Gerwin Price. Gerwin, first off, before we talk about this big fight, how are we, my friend? I'm pretty good, but I, like I said, I'm looking forward to the first ever event that I've been to. And yeah, it's buzzing. And you're, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into the fights later on. And not just the main fight, but all the undercards as well. I'm looking forward to it. Are you a big boxing fan then in general? Do you watch all these at home? Stay up for all the pay-per-views? What's your sort of your foot in the door with boxing? What do you like to watch? Yeah, um, if I'm honest, I'm not a huge... I, I love watching the big fights like the ones, you know, the main fight tonight and what, all the pay-per-views, but I'm not a major, major boxing fan, but, you know, tonight could change that. Tyson Fury, Dillian White, though, this is the, you're the pinnacle for these two. 94,000 at Wembley, record-breaking numbers. Spine tingling moment for both. Who are you fancying for the fight? Let's get your official prediction, get it locked in. Tyson Fury, Dillian White, what do you think will happen? I think that uh, it'll be a nip and tuck early rounds, and then uh, I think Tyson will probably be a little bit too fit, have a little bit too much rim. You probably lean on him a little bit, get him tired, and I think six, seven, eighth round, it could finish in any one of those, I think. I think looking at them both on the scales yesterday, they both came in in unbelievable condition. Tyson came in the lightest he's been for a couple of fights, but Dillian came in heavier, but no ounce of fat on him. Looks, it looked like a wrecking ball. Do you, is there a chance you think in this fight both could hit the canvas? Um, well, yeah, definitely. If one of them, if any of them get caught, I mean, they're big hitters. Oh, yeah, Tyson needs to be obviously streetwise because obviously if Dillian catches him, yeah. you know, he's going to hurt him. So, but I think he's good enough to, to avoid those punches. And you know, the longer the fight goes on, I think it'll 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 be in Tyson's uh, Tyson's favour. Let me get your opinion on another huge fight that's coming up: Anthony Joshua a rematch against Usyk. We all know what happened the first fight. Usyk dominated, got the points victory. AJ's got to change a lot up, and if Tyson or whoever wins this could set up a huge fight if the winners both fight each other. What happens in the rematch? Usyk versus Joshua, how do you see that? Can AJ pull it back? Um, if I'm honest with you, I, I don't think he can. I think um, the, uh, the last fight I've seen between them, I think Usyk was, was too, too fit. He's a lot smaller, but he keeps getting on the inside of him. And yeah, I, I just think that he's got enough in the bag to, to win again. But yeah, I, I hope that uh, that he comes through it, Andy Joshua, because then it could be a good fight then between Tyson and himself. So, but I don't know. Maybe Tyson's gonna gonna retire after this fight. Hopefully that he doesn't, and then yeah, hopefully that uh, Andy Joshua wins, and them two can get in the ring together. Whatever happens, win, lose or draw, I hope he don't. I feel like he's got a lot left in the tank. Right, let's talk about you quickly. When are you next back out? What's the big tournament? Well, it's Premier League every week, so I'm in Dublin next Thursday. Then I'm off to Austria on the Friday to play Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, it's pretty hectic, the schedule. This is the only weekend I had off. I didn't even know I had it off. They, they pulled some tournaments <laughs> off. So I got a few tickets really, really late. So I was lucky. You got a message for your fans, the one that support you through thick and things. So I know you play sometimes the pantomime villain on stage. But have you got a message for them fans who stick by you and give you all that look and support? Yeah, honestly, they're amazing. I mean, I don't really hear them in the crowd, but I know they're there. I know they're watching TV. I know they're, they're supporting me 100%. But yeah, it's difficult sometimes when you can't really see them in the crowd or hear them in the crowd. But I know they're there and, and they mean the world to me. So I appreciate every, every ounce of it. Gerwin Price, thanks for talking to Into Boxing, giving us some of your time today. Fingers crossed, we'll catch up again and good luck for Dublin next week. Appreciate you.